वेलकम क्लास फाइव इन योर साइंस क्लास एज वी आर डूइंग फोर्स वर्क एनर्जी एंड विद इन दैट चैप्टर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द फोर्स एंड ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ एनर्जी हाउ वी यूटिलाइज दिस एनर्जी इन अवर डेली डेली लाइफ एंड वट इज द यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द एनर्जी इन डिफरेंट वेज इन अ डिफरेंट फॉर्म हाउ वी कैन यूज द एनर्जी एंड द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस इज द सिंपल मशीन so what is simple what is machine actually machine means which makes our work easier the tool or a device uh, with the help of that device or a tool when we are making our um, things very easy that is called the machine suppose you are feeling very cold that time what will you do you will just uh, put on the blower hot blower and you will feel warm or maybe in a electrical heater you will just uh, warm your hands if in a summer season you are feeling too much uh, warm you are not feeling well that time either you will uh, just switch on the fan or the ac and in this way you will become comfortable so our life make comfortable and easy with the help of this uh, simple machine so today we will uh, study about the um, simple machine how many types of the simple machine are there so first of all simple machine a simple machine is a device that make our work easier and faster suppose scissor knife tweezer tong uh, cutter i mean uh, nut cutter uh, bottle opener these all are kind of simple machine okay simple machine are of different types uh, like lever wheel and axle uh, pulley wedge inclined plane and screw so first one we will talk about the lever what is lever you must have seen that we easily open the tin cap of a soft drink bottle using a bottle opener sometime the lid is become so hard to open that time your mother use a spoon to uh, pull the to push that lid from the uh, i mean uh, that the bar from that container so these all are actually simple machine similarly we can lift heavy things using a rod the bottle opener and the ro rods are example of the lever so a simple machine that turns around a fixed point is called the lever what Uh, which simple machine at first we will study that is simple machine type of simple machine first type is lever so we will talk about the lever so what is lever lever uh, which turns around a fixed point so in the lever any kind of lever any kind of simple machine which is a lever that will move around a fixed point okay so what is the position of the fixed point we will come to know that okay so the first of first of all uh, a lever help us to do work by applying less force so whatever uh, what is lever lever may be a, a category of lever we will uh, talk about later but lever makes our work easy and with the less effort we can do uh, the work with the help of the lever sometime it happens no a big rock or a big thing is uh, on your way when you are moving in a mountainous region that time what happens a uh, driver generally use a rod put the rod a rod inside that uh, stone and then just push it little bit and with the less effort the whole stone roll down so why it happens with the help of this rod so here the rod is working as a lever and the fixed point what is the fixed point where it is being pushed up suppose it is given here so when he is uh, pushing this so the the point where at first we have to keep one stone on that stone we have to put the rod so this is the fixing point and this fixing point is called the fulcrum and with this when we are moving it away this point will be fixed and from this side we are using the effort we are applying effort and what the work the work on which we are doing that is called the load okay so here we will talk about the lever lever there are three point one is load second one is fulcrum and the third one is this is the effort this is the system of the uh, lever and now the position of this fulcrum 
position of this load and position of the effort will be change according to the category of the liver so there are three kinds of liver first one is first class liver second one is second class liver and third one is third class liver so at first we will talk about first class liver so first class liver we will talk about the first class uh, at first um, uh, a liver help us to do work by applying less force this make our work easier the term related to the liver is load effort and fulcrum so what is load the object on which work is to be performed so what is the uh, load uh, the amount of the thing or the object on which we will do some kind of work that is called the load and the force applied on it by which side we are applying our force that force we are applying through our muscular uh, body or through something so that is called the effort and fulcrum is always a fixed point so fulcrum is always a fixed point whereas load and effort both are movable points okay so these are we are using the effort we are applying the effort and we are removing uh, and we are doing something on the object that is load maybe we are removing we maybe we are carrying maybe we are doing uh, cracking it whatever the function we are doing with the object that object is called the load okay now the uh, classes of lever the first class lever the first class lever the fulcrum is in between the load so this is the fulcrum this is the load and this is the effort so one side is effort another side is load and in the middle of the uh, lever is fulcrum and fulcrum is always fixed in the middle part and that type of lever is called first class lever so there are so many examples are given here at first we will see the seesaw so the uh, middle point of the seesaw is always fixed isn't it so the person is moving like this uh, one person goes up and then another uh, if we'll talk about this one person always goes up like this and the another person goes down isn't it then uh, this person will make the effort and the um, seesaw will move now the uh, person who applied the effort it will become lower down and the another per person will go up and the middle point is always fixed so this is the middle point where it is fixed or you can say when we are talking about the seesaw this is the middle point or where the fulcrum and the both side one time this is working as load and another time the effort work as load so one time it is pushing the um, one side of the seesaw downward that time it is going up that time it work as a load and another time uh, it will when it comes down then it will push the body upward and this will come down and then it will it will uh, just apply the effort and this will behave like the load so these positions will be change and the fulcrum will be fixed at the middle of the point and this kind of any this kind of lever is called first class lever second uh, option or the second example is pair of scissors so we will see the pair of scissors so this is the middle point and this is the fixed point and this mix fixed point is called the fulcrum and here as we uh, in the scissor we uh, cross down it no when we cut it down that time we use the both handle so here we are putting the effort isn't it and the uh, cloth or a uh, paper whatever we are cutting we are uh, applying the force on this object so this object or this is these two uh, um, i mean uh, legs of the scissor or the both side of the scissor they will mm, uh, work on a load because they will work on the object so these two pairs are called the load where the middle point is a fixed point of the scissor and these two are the uh, handle of the um, handle of the scissor where we will apply the force so this is the effort part this is the fulcrum part and this is the pair of the um, pair of this uh, scissor they will uh, cut the paper or cut the cloth so these uh, here uh, this point is called the load okay last one is the spoon you will see a spoon is uh, more or less like this like this here will be the load whatever we are eating maybe soup maybe noodle anything rice and this is a fixed point uh, this point where the uh, broader portion become started this is the middle point this is the fulcrum and here 
when we are feeding somebody suppose we are feeding somebody suppose it is a uh, it is a spoon and you are feeding so you are making the effort on the side of this spoon so this spoon where you are uh, applying the force where you are doing some work this is that point this is called the effort here the last the broader part uh, rice or whatever the thing or the object is there which you are feeding somebody so that is the load and the middle part of the uh, spoon is always fulcrum uh, understood so this is the first class lever now we will talk about the first class lever uh, we have completed and now we will talk about the second class lever so second class lever c this is uh, second class lever load is between so load is always in middle of this uh, second class lever understood so load is always in the middle of the uh, middle of this uh, lever c the boy is uh, just carrying some vegetable or some object within this uh, within this um, wheelbarrow so within the, uh, in the middle the food particles or whatever the load is there so this is called the load and from the handle he is pushing the cart so the pushing part or the handle is the effort and the first point this will never move because it is the uh, first part of the or you can say this is the first part of the wheel barrow which is always fixed here here will be the wheel so wheel part is fixed this is the interior part and this part is uh, this part of the wheel is always fixed so this part and the interior part is always work as a fulcrum middle part the things are being uh, kept so this is the load part and where the boy is pushing this boy see this boy is pushing the cart so this is the pushing part as this boy is pushing the cart from this handle so this is called the uh, effort okay now the next one you see the bottle opener uh, when we fix some bottle suppose this is the bottle and we are uh, fixing it with the bottle opener so this part we are fixing no we are fixing the bottle opener here and then we are trying to make it pull it isn't it we are so we are applying the effort from the lower part this is the fixed part the interior part is the fixed part and the middle part is working so it is the load clear so this is the uh, <coughs> working of the this is actually working of this second class lever see the bottle opener uh, always the effort is from the posterior part or the last part and the um, bottle opener middle part of interior part is being fixed uh, within that bottle so this is the fixed part and this fixed part is uh, fulcrum and effort uh, or uh, load is in the middle clear to you and the last one is the nut cracker it is very easy to understand nut cracker you see the la interior part this is the interior part this is always fixed and uh, this part you cannot move in the middle of the uh, uh, this nut cracker you will keep the nut to uh, suppose supari or any kind of nut you want to crack so it will be in the middle and the last part will be used by the person who is using this uh, nut cracker so he will use this part and he will apply the part to cut the uh, to crack the nut so this is the effort part so these two both hands are the effort part this last part or the interior part is fixed that is the fulcrum and the middle part where you are doing the work where you are uh, the work is being done that work is done on the nuts and they are been cracked so the nut part or the middle part is actually uh, load part okay so this is the uh, in the second class lever in the first class lever fulcrum is always in the middle and then in the second class lever you will see fulcrum is at the interior part and now the third class lever you will see third class lever effort is in between the fulcrum and load so fulcrum and load will move the position fulcrum will always fixed remember that and the effort uh, here the examples are given uh, effort is in between the fulcrum and load so see uh, the forceps so the first interior part is fulcrum because it is fixed so it is the interior part here we will uh, the load will be 
on the opposite path and when we are using tongue to bring something so the interior part and posterior interior part is fixed posterior part we are using and the middle part is always the effort because we are uh, we are using the middle part the in the posterior part you are one part is suppose this is the tongue isn't it so this is always fixed this part is always fixed no and we are taking the rasagulla like this suppose i am taking the chalk so this is suppose this is the rasagulla so this is the uh, fixed part this is the fulcrum part here we are doing the work so it is uh, we are taking something so it is from the tongue so this both this part is uh, within this we are doing the work so it is the load part and where we are using the effort here because according to the movement of the uh, of this tongue we are giving the uh, this thing we are losing this thing and we are again taking this thing so this is the load part this one is the effort part and the fixed part is the fulcrum understood so here i have drawn again it is the fulcrum part this is the fulcrum part the fixed part this part you are using just uh, we are using the forceps no so we are using this thing we are keeping this thing and we are taking this thing so this is the interior part which we are using so load is here and effort is from the middle part so this is the uh, third class lever understood so the third class lever examples are forceps stapel machine and the ice tong so by this you will understand now we will talk about the pulley so what is pulley pulley is actually it is also a type of simple machine pulley consists of a circular disc made up of metal or the wooden with groove cut along in the rim so if we'll talk about the pulley pulley is just a grooved part or here it is a fixed part a rim is there and there are the grooved path and within this grooved path when we apply one this thing suppose here is a bucket and then what will be do we are taking uh, when we are pushing this downward this will go upward isn't it so we are applying the force downward and the effort or the load is coming up so this is always the opposite direction where you want some work there the uh, movement or the applied force should be in the opposite direction so pulley works in that a rope passes around the groove the groove prevent the rope from slipping off the disc the pulley rotate around an axle fixed to support so there are two type of pulley so we are um, see the load moves up so what is the load load is bucket of water and this axle axle is the this rim is the axle and it is if we'll see the fixation point so it is fixes through a rod isn't it so it is a it is moving within this rod so it is a wheel axle arrangement here the load moves up axle is always uh, fixed in a point and pulley is the arrangement where this boy is uh, just uh, pulling the rope towards itself okay so it is always the opposite side uh, opposite side uh, and uh, the function will be done in the i mean opposite side of the force okay now there will be two pulleys single fixed pulley and a single movable pulley so the single fixed pulley a fixed pulley has a fixed axis a rope passes over the pulley load is attached to one end of the rope and effort is applied at the another end a fixed pulley is used to change the direction of the load so low i have told you if we are uh, pulling the rope this side downward then the bucket will be uh, goes up so it will always work in a opposite direction it is a single fixed pulley single movable pulley a movable pulley has a free axle and the axle is free to move it is usually used in combination with the 
fixed pulley so without fixed pulley when you are not giving any support to it it will not work and the basic thing is it will always work in the opposite direction when the uh, i mean uh, excellent wheel this is an excellent wheel arrangement when the person is pulling the rope towards it or the downward to the earth then the load will goes up okay so the load will go up if uh, or the load whatever the bucket maybe uh, um, i mean uh, full of water maybe anything so it will goes up if uh, the um, uh, force will be applied to the opposite direction that mean downward force and load will goes up okay next one is we will talk about the next that is the inclined plane and uh, i hope each of you uh, each of you may be uh, in not this time but you have uh, sometime you have visited park and you have seen uh, these type of slides are there and what is actually the function of this slide these are called the inclined planes so inclined plane means any slopey surface is called inclined plane okay so this is the inclined plane there are too many uses of this kind of the inclined plane anything is easily can be carried upward and it easily comes down with the help of inclined plane so what is inclined plane it is also a simple machine that has a sloping surface and some example of the inclined planes are ramp sloping wooden planks slides etc inclined planes are provided in the hospital so the wheelchair carrying patient can be easily pushed because when uh, anything we are uh, uh, we use some staircase if even ourself when we use uh, to go somewhere uh, from the staircase that time we have to apply more effort no the more force we have to apply in that case but when we come down or uh, go somewhere in mountainous region on somewhere with this within this uh, slopey surfaces that time we have to put some less uh, effort or less force we have to apply so that is the thing uh, in this case when a person is sliding down uh, it is very easily it can Uh, come down but if you want to go up uh, within this sliding uh, surface that time you will feel little bit difficulty but that difficulty is not for this inclined plane that is for the less friction of this surface but when you are uh, just pushing some wheelchair in the hospital within this uh, sliding surface or inclined plane that will be easy uh, to carry any kind of patient or any loaded thing through this ramp okay so this is uh, the inclined plane next one is a screw uh, everybody has seen the uh, nail but if the nail is grooved around so that is called the screw a screw fixes anything uh, like any kind of furniture door uh, door pens or anything if we want to fix with some another kind of thing that time we have to use the screw okay so a screw is an inclined plane it is also an inclined plane uh, if you see the screw the <coughs> this is like this and there will be you will see the grooving uh, parts or the groove part within the nail these type of grooved nails are called screw okay so this is screw we have to fix within the uh, within two things if if we want to fix two things then we have to use this screw so a screw is an inclined plane wound around a rod it looks like a nail with uh, grooves cut into it it has a winding edge called thread uh, to insert a screw in a wood it is screwed by uh, turning it round and round with a screw driver less force is needed to insert a screw in the wood then a nail the screw can hold things together tightly a screw jack is example of a screw so uh, one thing you should know that how much distance a uh, um, device travel within the or uh, how much distance covered by a nail or anything that much force we have to apply to pull it out or uh, the force will be just double as the distance will be double 
within any wooden surface or anything which we are fixing. So we are fixing the nail directly, so it goes uh, in a straight way. But when we are fixing a screw, that means we are rounding it, isn't it? So it is, it is covering uh, more distance than a nail. So how much distance it will cover, it will be difficult to pull it out from the um, any furniture and the place where you have fixed it. So uh, this, uh, this, is, uh, this is screw is actually depend on that principle. So that's why it is being grooved and any furniture or anything which we want to um, just fix very uh, firmly, that time we have to use this screw just like in the furnitures okay just like anything anything if you want to um, make it tight or if you fix it want to uh, fix it tight that time we have to use a screw instead of nail and this is a screwdriver this is screwdriver or the screw jack is also there a screwdriver actually we have to put the screwdriver within that uh, groove which is uh, just on the surface of that screw and we can tight it easily okay so it is also a device or you can say screwdriver is also a simple machine the last one is uh, wheel and axle so a wheel with a rod attaches to it's called a wheel and axle arrangement so in a car you have seen wherever you will see any wheel so wheel are always fixes with a rod isn't it this is the arrangement of the wheel and axis. So axle is, this is the axle and this is the wheel portion. Even if we just uh, take one part of this wheel, then it is fixes in the car you will see. Again, this is the uh, wheel and axle uh, arrangement. So wheel is moving on a fixed point. This is the fulcrum, okay? So this is a fixed point where the uh, steering or you can say the wheel moves always and this rod is uh, giving the direction where, uh, where the car will go or where the direction, in which direction the car has to go. So this is the uh, wheel and axle arrangement, but this is not only in the car. Uh, other ways you can also see some screwdriver and thick handle even in the back side of the car. You will see even in the um, uh, cycle you will see two wheels are arranged with a uh, rod. So that is also a wheel and axle arrangement because you uh, have you seen the rod is moving around? No, it is always fixed but the fixed portion is actually with the middle of the rim or within the, uh, with the middle of that wheel and the, this wheel always moves around isn't it so within this fixed portion the wheel moves and the whatever the movable body maybe it is a cycle maybe it is a car it moves uh, along with it and these two portions are always fixed okay so this is the wheel and uh, rod arrangement when we turn the wheel the axle also turn and in a, a screwdriver the thick handle work as the wheel and the thinner metal rod as a axle. With this arrangement, it takes less force to move something. Other example of wheel and axle are a steering wheel of a car and drill using by the carpenter. So drilling machine is always, again, drilling machine, uh, we can use the uh, drilling machine. You, have you seen the drilling machine? It also work with the uh, screw and the handle is uh, working like the axle and the uh, screw always moves inside and they goes and they go inside the furniture and fix it. Okay, next. Wedge. Wedge is nothing when uh, it is a V-shaped, when, uh, have you seen the knife? Knife uh, and if you observed a knife, you will see one portion, one part or the upper part of the knife is always blunt and the lower portion is sharp or you can say one, if we will see the knife, the both side of the knife are not so sharp. One is blunt and another is uh, sharp. So why it is? Because two, uh, when we, two inclined plane, suppose this is the inclined plane, when both inclined plane are being used up or you can say the both are being fixes like this so the both end the sharper end will be the place where the two sharp ends will be mixes and another knife uh, 
the part or the edge of the another uh, another uh, i mean inclined plane will fixes with this so it will become the blunt part and this will become the single part and it will become uh, sharp okay sharper one side is the sharper and another wedge is actually it is a v shaped when we are mixing two blade or when we are joining two blade so the one part is become sharper it it is always in a v shape so v shape means uh, when we are seeing the v shape v shape means this is no so this is the blunt part and the one part will become the sharper part okay so on uh, you can say the v shaped edge where the two uh, blades are being used up the both ends are uh, mixing here but this is the wider part or this one is the wider part where uh, where the um, uh, this axe or um, any uh, knife will be blunt okay so a v shaped piece generally made up of metal it has two inclined plane together to form a sharp edge and a blunt edge so uh, an x an x or a blade and a knife are example of which it is used to cut a split uh, things within two but Uh, it is actually fixing in such a way in a v shaped okay so the uh, both ends where it is being mixes it will make the sharp end and where they are uh, just joining in a wide place or they are joining with each other uh, in a um, open place or you can say within this place in the wider place that will be the blunt side okay and the compound machine is just nothing compound machines are actually accumulation of all the simple machine that's all we will discuss in the later on if any part is being uh, not discussed if any part you do not understand then you can ask me in my live class okay thank you